Hi, welcome to Vcreation Technology. Please like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get latest update about it. In this video, we will discuss about what is optional parameter in C# and how to use this optional parameter in C# basically uh, optional parameter in c is used function or method means whenever we are calling any kind of function or method at that time we can give our optional parameter uh, so that whenever we call that method or function at that time if we won't give any kind of value to it then by default it will take that default value and if we will give any kind of value then by default then it will automatically uh, take that value and uh, here I uh, consider one uh, ASPX page and uh, let us take one method as private uh, void let me consider this one as a test method and here I will we use two parameters let's say string uh, first name and string L name okay and in case of the L name I will give this one as a my default value or we can uh, say that uh, the optional value and here let me give uh, this value as Evans okay this is my last name and uh, let's go to our ASPX page here I will uh, display those first name and last name uh, in my UI so let me consider here label ID equal to LBL first name run it equal to server okay and after that let me take last name label LBL last name and here also run it equal to server okay here i use this code uh, because to display my first name and last name in ui so so let me take lbl first name dot text equal to my first name i will display here okay and lbl last name dot text equal to L name here my L name will be displayed and in the page load itself I will call this method as, as I have the test method in the first name I will uh, give my first name as Chris and as we are using optional parameters in C so uh, we can give or we cannot give the L name value so in the uh, here i won't give any last name so by default it will take l name as my uh, optional parameters and by default it will take evans as my l name and and it will display in my uh, ui so let's run the program okay now you can see here uh, I got the breakpoint and let's press F11 so here you can see my first name is Chris my L name is Evans so whenever I press F5 then directly it will show my first name is Chris and my last name is Evans let me give a breakpoint here okay now in the next uh, what I will do is uh, I will call that same method uh, but here I will pass my uh, last name value as Swarth okay now whenever I run this method my first name will be display as Chris and my last name will be display as Hemsworth so in this case it will as we are passing the last name value so it will override this Evans value and it will display in the our UI so let's run it okay here I got the breakpoint uh, let me press F11 
so my first name is chris and my last name is hemsworth now you can see here this even this uh, hemsworth override this events okay this value override this events because uh, we give the external last name value so now whenever i press f5 it will display my first name is chris and my last name is hemsworth okay uh, another thing is that here also we can give our uh, optional parameter like this optional and uh, here we need to add the namespace let me add this okay it in this way also it will work and one more thing is that we need to uh, give our optional parameters from right to left and we can't give the, from the left to right okay and thank you